they had a great big party down at Tom the other night. Was I there? You bet, honey. I never in my life seen such a sight. All the folks from four settlements was invited and they come. They come trooping thick as cheering when them cheering here to five and drunk. Everybody dressed they finest. I show mouth and get away. I ain't seen such fancy dressing since last quarter meeting day. Gals all dressed up in silk and satins, not a wrinkle nor a crease. Eyes are batting, teeth are shining. Hair brushed back as slick as grease. Skirts all rough and tucked and puffed. Every blessed seeming stitch, if you seen them with Miss Anne, you couldn't swear which was which. Men's all dressed up in Prince Albert's. Swallow tails or take your breath. I can't tell y'all nothing more about it. Y'all to see it for yourself. Who was there? Now who you asking? How you spec I gonna know? You think I stood and counted everybody at the door? Well, old man Baba's houseboy Ike, he brung that gal Melinda Jane, her uh, hanging on his elbow and him just a strutting with a cane. My was Harvey Jones jealous, like to stick him like a thong. But he smiled with Viney Cathers, trying hard not to let on. But a person couldn't help from notice from direction of his look. He was watching every step that Ike and Linda took. Ike, he pulled up a chair and asked her, won't you sit down with a smile? And she loud about a giggling, oh, I reckon tain't worthwhile. But that was just for style, I reckon, cause she sat down just the same. And she stayed there till someone come and fetch her for to play some sort of game. And then I see her reason proper like as she riz to go away. Oh, you really must excuse me, for I barely cast to play. But then I seen her in a minute with the others on the floor, and there wasn't any one of them playing anymore. That gal come down that floor a-bowing and a-swinging and a-swaying, putting on her high tone manners all the time she was singing. Oh, swing Johnny up and down, swing him all around. Oh, swing Johnny up and down, swing him all around. Oh, swing Johnny up and down, swing him all around. Fare thee well, my darling. Well, I had to laugh at old man Johnson. He's a caution now, you bet. He pushing close near to a hundred, and he's sly and nimble yet. Why, he loud out sort of giggling. I ain't old, I'll let you say. Ain't no use in getting feeble now. You youngsters, come watch me. And he grabs old Aunt Maria, weigh 300 more or less. And he swung her around that barnyard, swinging Johnny like the rest. Everybody laughed and hollered, go it, swing Uncle Jim. And he swung her too, I reckon, like a youngster. Who but him? <laughs> well, that was better than young Scott Thomas. He tried to be so awful smart. You know where they gets to singing and they get to that day part. In some lady, new brick house, in some lady garden. If you don't let me out, I'll jump out and fair they were my darling. And you know, they form the circle around you and you gots to break the line. Why wow, that brother got so anxious like to kill himself a trying. Kept on blundering around and fooling till he take one great big jump, broke the line and lit head foremost into the fireplace right plump. Had fire in it, mind you. Why I thought my soul I bust. I tried my best to keep from laughing, but it seemed like die I must. Y'all ought to see that man a scramble from the ashes in the ground. Did it burn him? Why such a question? He didn't give it time. He throw them ashes and them cinders every which way I guess and you never in your life clap your eye on such a mess. And he surely made a picture and a funny one to boot with his clothes all full of ashes and his face all full of soot. <laughs> well, you know that likely would stop the party and likely is not if Tom's wife, Mandy, didn't happen on the spot to invite us to supper. Well, we scrambled to their tables. I like to tell y'all all about it, like what we had, but I ain't able. But I'll tell you just a few things, though. Though I know I had an order, cause then you'll start the hankering and your mouth on midst of water. We had wheat bread, white as cotton, and an egg pone just like gold. Hog jowls boiling, steaming, roasted show and ham sliced cold. Look out, what's the matter with you? Why are you falling on the floor? If I knowed it would affect you that way, I wouldn't tell you nothing more. But day now, there. We had 
hot chitlins. Now you trying to get in the fall. I guess you just done up and heard and seen it all. Seen them great big sweet potatoes laying by that possum side. Seen that coon and all his gravy wrecking, then you up and died. Well, Mandy, she loud. Oh, y'all really must excuse me. Twasn't much upon my shelf, but I tried my best to suit you. So sit down and help yourself. Tom, he loud. I don't believe in no apologizing and professing. Let them get it like they catch it. Elder Thompson, ask the bless. Well, y'all ought to see that colored preacher clear his throat and bow his head. One eye open and one eye shut. This is every word he said. Lord, look down with humble mercies on such a generous hearts as these. Make us truly thankful and pass that possum, please. <laughs> well, we ate and drank our potions till there wasn't nothing left. We felt just like new sausage. I mean, we was most nigh stuffed to death. Well, Tom, he know how we was feeling, so he had to fiddle around. And he made us clear that barnyard for the dance that supper down. Jim the fiddler, tune his fiddle, put side Rosam on his boat, set that pine box upon the table, mounted her, and let her go. He's a fiddler now, I tell you. And he made that fiddle ring till the oldest and the lamest had to get a feed of flame. Jigs, cotillions, breakdowns, quadrilles, and a waltz or two. Why, that music like the wingham and then people like the flute. Cripple Joe, the old rheumatic, he danced that flow from side to middle, rode away his crutches and hopped it. What's rheumatics get for fiddle? Elder Thompson, he got so tickled, he liked to lose his grace, had to take both feet and hold them so to keep them in their place. And the Christians and the sinners got so mixed up on that flow, I don't know how they'd apart it if the trumpet had chance to blow. Well, we danced that way and capered in the most ridiculous way until the rooster in the barnyard cleared his throat and crowed for day. I'm telling you, y'all ought to been there because everything was rich and prime and there ain't no use in talking. We just had one scrumptious time. Thank you kindly.